Well, all the prognosticators out there, Coach, think you need to draft a running back, and you had some running backs last year who got banged up. You had a rookie in P. Ryan who really had to carry the load at the end of the year. We see Chris Thompson. Looks like he's doing great, so that's good news. How do you assess your running back core here with free agency on the horizon? Well, it's hard to grade them. You know, Chris Thompson was off to a hot start. You know, he's had over five, 600 yards receiving in 10 games. He had the rushing yards, so, uh, and then his injury obviously hurt us. Uh, Rob Kelly had a great game against the Rams week two, uh, but he hurt his ankle. That game was never quite the same, so his year was a wash for him. Um, P. Ryan, for a rookie, I think he came in, did some things. He had a back-to-back 100-yard -back games there for a time. We had uh, high hopes for him, but I think it's probably overall probably a little bit disappointing uh, when it's all said and done, but I think he's got a chance to get a lot better. Um, and then we had Capri Bibbs, we had Byron Marshall. Um, so we got a lot of backs to look at, but now we just have to figure out uh, our top three or four guys going into the season. Uh, we have a long way to do that with the draft and free agency, but hopefully uh, we'll address it some way, somehow. All right, we talked about quarterback. We'll talk to you about that in a couple of weeks. To the defensive line, uh, your top pick last year played very well when he was in there. And I know he wanted to get back in the lineup at the end of the year. Probably smart that he didn't. Uh, how much are you looking for out of Jonathan Allen in 2018? Well, he's our first round draft pick. We're looking for a lot. Josh Doxson was our first round a couple years ago. We need him to improve. And Jonathan, uh, Brandon Sheriff is our first rounder. These are guys that have to carry your football team. We have to really pick well, and I think we have done that. I think Jonathan Allen is going to be a dominant player in the National Football League. Uh, healthy, he works hard, he's strong. Uh, he can stop the run, he can rush the passer. When he went out, our defense kind of fizzled there a little bit, and we lost a little big piece of our puzzle uh, defensively, not only in nickel situation, but in base first and second down, because he's good at both. Um, so high hopes for Jonathan. We need to surround him with some other pieces here, but uh, you know he'll be great. As the story goes, you were a big Matt Ioannidis fan coming out of college, and along with Jonathan Allen last year, that was a pretty dynamic duo. He had to play with the club. Uh, his game impacted by the absence of Jonathan Allen. But how happy are you with the progress of Matt? Because he looks like a pretty good defensive lineman. He is. He is pretty good. You know, we got him in the fifth round, I think, fourth or fifth round, and, and uh, plays hard. You know, what you see at Temple is what you get here. A hard-playing guy. And I figured he'd get a lot stronger in the weight room, which he has. He worked extremely hard. He and Ziggy Hood are probably our two hardest-working guys in the weight room. Um, and uh, I think he's just going to get better and better. What has Tom Sula added to that group? I know you might have some changes along that defensive line. The whole team is going to have changes, but the coach is back, and he's, he's a bit of a unique character. He is a unique character. I think he gets a lot out of those guys. I think the guys like playing for him. That's half the battle. Of course, he's very skilled at what he does. He knows the system. He's been with Minuski for a long time, and uh, they work well together. So they speak the same language. They work together well, uh, and I think it's a great combination. I think they'll do much better next year.